Hello and welcome back to Adventurers of Calabath. I'm here with our new character Ziggy Stardust and I've just been going through some more of the options um, and checking out another creator of AOA stuff is uh, Estelle. I'll link it down below but they have a lot of good tips. Uh, they're much more knowledgeable about the game than I am. I'm going into this a little bit blind but they showed me told me how to set up the journal uh, as a as a system message here I like the look of that just changed a few things around here uh, got our health bar up and status bar and clicking in through the help options there's actually a quick bar which I've added at the top here and what else just been sitting here um, spamming the hiding skill to get a little bit of hiding skill because when you step off this mountain uh, we don't know what's going to be waiting for us outside there could be a man-eater right there in front of us we want to be able to hide uh, and we'll make our way to civilization we are very squishy still so, let's do it. Let's go see what's outside. Right here we are. Looks like just some animals right here. I want to take a look at the map before we go too far. So we've got, there's a city up here, I believe this is Moon, um, the city over here, I forget which one this is, uh, city down here, I think this is Gray, and uh, Moon Gate over here. So I'd like to be able to make it to either Britain here, because we've got the farms, and we can... Uh, get some bandages from from the cloth and stuff there and uh, start with the newbie dungeons and stuff there uh, so yeah I think that's where I want to get to let's see if we can get there by moon gate yeah this is another thing uh, the name plates that uh, Estelle showed me. Very cool. I've got it set to show containers and gold and stuff on the ground always. And I made a little button here for the moon gate. So here we go, showing us which direction the moon gate is. Alright, let's get going. Let's see how many monsters we run into. Person. These purple names. Oh, I can't talk to them. I think they'll help you though if you get attacked or something. They'll they'll attack monsters back. Just gonna hug the mountain here. That's a big one. And a gnome. Alright. So let's see if we can go around these guys. That's a big spider. The harpies can sing. Uh, causing all sorts of effects. Alright, here we go, we made it. Alright. Uh, 
you, I guess, is pretty close. Let's take that one. Where did that put us? Okay, we made it about from here to here. And now we need to get down here. I wonder if there's a... Oh, there's Gargoyle coming. Uh, what is central? Yeah, this is the one. This is the one that's close. Okay. So... Let's run away from the snake and the crocodile. Try not to get hung up on the trees in the jungle. And a rat man. And you do get hung up on the rocks as well. Basilisk, that's not good. I really have zero skills to fight anything. We might be able to kill uh, a small bird. something to get the scissors. Um, they're usually whatever, uh, 15 gold or so or something like that, so. I do have the skill gain set to from 0 to 10, I put it at a 2. Oh, well, we've got a corpse. This might be our lucky day. Maybe. A little bit of copper coins. There we go. I don't think that turns us gray or anything, so that's good. And we'll collect all this stuff. It's overweight. off, I believe uh, we can find some like bags and stuff laying around here somewhere. Uh, check the shops and check the castle. I think there's some bags in the castle somewhere. Oh, there's a basement. So there's a coffer, but you have to steal from these. You can't just Take stuff. Yeah, sleeping. What is this? 
we open this? Rusty gold. This barrel is for rusty scrap metal. If you come across any rusty metal items, put them in this barrel and you will get five gold per stone's weight. Oh, that's handy. Good to know. Alright, let's uh, run to the bank real quick down here. Could even... Oh, we didn't start with a, a light source, did we? Seven gold. That is enough for the scissors. Census records for the many lands and the sages have about a list of names. Your name is on this list as well. If you want to change your name, you can do so within this book. Okay. Oh, sorry. Jeez. Yeah, so here's some trunks. I think we can get into these. We can find them. Searching skill is going to find traps and hidden doors and things for us. So yeah, that's right, we have to find our way uh, into this room with no door. Thank you. 
Yes, all right. Liquor. Ooh. Wow. Oh, 250, nice. Yeah, that's a good start. Increase damage increase. Might be good to start. It's very slow though. And some beetle shells. I'll take it. Alright, so that'll that'll get us started. <clears throat> What's so funny? Surely, yes, jesters are the entertainers of the land, juggling and leaping about, spreading humorous stories, and trying to make others laugh. They also have a mischievous side, which makes them able adventurers. That's interesting. You will need to hone your skills in begging and psychology. So yeah, jester is a whole uh, class in this. Chester is where I can buy some lockpicks from. Alright, let's go turn our coins into gold. See how much we got. down here and see if we can get a scissor first. Tinker will have one. Can't really get started fighting things if we don't have bandages. some stuff in. Uh, these 10 foot poles are great for finding traps. some bandages. Hey! This is 
so we can get reagents. city to uh, get some scissors. Hey. And that's just kind of how this game is set up, um, you know, to encourage traveling around and exploring. My name is Trudy. You have a reputation of visions from the past or future. If you have a deciphered parchment and you are wondering if the words written speak the truth, I could reveal you whether it is a truth or a lie. Okay. So, remember the gypsy does parchments. start. wonder if we should maybe buy a bow crafting to make arrows and stuff. So we can at least start um, shooting things. With our bow that we found here. We'll need some lumberjacking to get the wood, which we'll need an axe for. And of course I left all the gold. We have no resurrection cost yet, but it's going to start off very expensive. If it starts off at like 200, it's going to be four times that, so... We already don't have enough gold to cover a, a resurrection. We could get a horse to help us run to another town. That might be a good idea. A huge lizard, no horses. They sell bandages at four each. It just seems like a waste of gold when uh, I've got a thousand cloth in the bank. 700 for a horse. Let's do it. We want to be mobile. So that should 
Help us stay out of danger. Satchel, can we check that out? Maybe. A uh, barbaric satchel. Uh, the world does not normally lend itself to a sword and sorcery experience. This means that it is not the most optimal play experience to be a loincloth wielding barbarian that roams the land with a huge axe. Characters generally get as much equipment as they can in order to maximize their rate of survivability. This satchel can change some of your equipment to fit within this sword and sorcery style. Its purpose is to change certain pieces of equipment. Okay, so it's like a... Make yourself look how you like without losing the attributes of your armor and stuff. Gotcha. Well. Britain Taylor is a bust. I guess we could run up to you. It's right there. I believe that's you. Let's do that. from the Arpiki lands. Great. Mental mend. A trinket cooking plus two. Damage increase seven percent. Okay. Why not? A hey, always check the wagons. You've entered the Magna Vaults. Easy. Uh, this must be like a little dungeon. Uh, let me see if I can. Does this 
this font go a little bit bigger or not? No, I think because I've got the custom, the custom journal here. That's alright, we can still read it. Uh, we'll come back here later and we get some, at least some bandages going. Oh, yeah, it did. The new ones, uh, that's good. Gigantic squid. Let's see. Let's see if we can find some scissors here. and fencing skills. Hey. Maybe get some cheap armor. So if we can get like a fencing weapon that's better than uh, this dagger, this knife. So it's fast though, which is good for skill gain. And also look if there's a yeah black market items. These are good. They're more expensive though. up with so much junk so quickly. Alright, I do like the idea of crafting thing to start here so let's see if we can train our bow crafting yes there we go so that should help and then we need to get the tool it's not that one to 
chop wood. Hey! Just get a couple of these little bags. use any axe or we have to get a special wood chopping axe uh, let's check oh, that's the actual list of our skills um, your skills Lumberjack cutting trees. Double click an axe and then a tree. Oh, and you can fight with the axes too. Nice. Maybe we could make a switch from our fencing. We haven't even done any uh, fencing yet. Hey. Maybe we should do that. This is like a two-hand. Well, uh, we will be getting into music, of course, with Ziggy Stardust. And uh, an axe is a nickname for a guitar, so... This will raise our strength as well. Yes, I know this is thrilling gameplay. This tree has a lot of wood. Alright, yep. So a little bit of wood started. I don't know if there's a, a 
tinkerer here. Or maybe we need to go back to Britain. Buy my carrots. Nope. Okay, I think I didn't really see a, a tinkerer here. Uh, more shops. Free food. Don't mind us, Egan. We'll just take your melons. Can we sell them right back to you? We can sell you the carrots.
Yeah, if we had a bit of animal taming, we could just tame a horse instead of spending 700 on it. Some food here. Um, I did want to cook my own food, but I kind of want to train up the cooking skill just a little bit first. Just not just sitting there failing uh, over and over again. Okay, so we need some uh, bow crafting tools. And we'll need to kill some birds to get some feathers. Quiver. Probably a good thing to have. up there. I thought there was a dummy down here somewhere. Well, maybe we'll go up to the castle. I think there's a dummy in here. Oh, are they all in use? Okay, well, uh, so I'm going to do some uh, dummy training with the axe here and raise my swordsmanship up just a little bit so we can kill some birds and uh, we'll come back next time and make some arrows and then we'll train up uh, the archery. So I'm just going to sit here and double click this. should go pretty quick. Uh, I'll cut that part out. Uh, thanks for watching. This has been Adventures of a Calabath Episode 1 with Ziggy Stardust, crash landed on the mountain, we found our way to civilization, and we're getting started. Thanks for watching.